years old. And something happened. I, I sprained my arm. Um, so I couldn't go out and play. I was sequestered inside because I had to recover from my arm. And turn on television. First horror movie I had ever seen was on that night. Day of the Triffids. I saw it. I saw that movie. And from that point on, I was just... I was just hooked. Those are the type of movies I, I gravitated to. I was pretty much a collector from six years old on, but in, in various degrees. Um, I had a, a, a ton of, of horror comic books, magazines, toys, all throughout my youth up until about, I'd say about 12 or 13, I started to like pursue other interests, one of them being music. Movie props and movie posters and all that shtick, um, I would say, you know, in, in my mid-twenties, I st when I, I, I got back into collecting, uh, I went back to what I knew best, which were monster magazines and comic books, and then I slowly got back into toys, and then movie posters and movie props and everything else that kind of fell under that umbrella. There are a few pieces out there, like a, a Murders from Murders of the Room Morgue one sheet from 1932 that just has not shown up in the last 25 years. I'm wondering if they'll ever show up in my lifetime, but that's one, one piece that I've been waiting for for, for a while. Um, movie props is the same way. I mean, a lot of the uh, movie props from like 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, no one knows if that stuff exists or not. It's just all about you know, waiting for it to be located or rediscovered or found or whatever. And then, usually when that happens, it's almost instantly put into an auction. Not too long ago, Bill Lugosi's uh, cape that he wore in one of his roles as Dracula came up to auction. I really wanted it. But then I, I, I saw the estimate to be uh, over seven figures and I just kind of had to like wash my hands of the whole affair and just kind of walk away and say, no, oh, I guess that that one's just not for you. I'm going to be uh, picking out you know certain pieces that I, I, I think are are representative of of what uh, my collection is all about. So there'll be a, a, a huge cross selection of things. There's going to be toys, masks, movie posters, props, and ambiance. I would like to think that the, 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 uh, you know, people would recognize the cultural significance of this stuff. And I hope that, that it attracts people who are just like, you know, like-minded and sh share a similar passion to this stuff. And I hope they can come into, uh, into uh, my little zone and, you know, if they really dig this stuff, really have a good time checking it out and seeing everything and interacting with with all the stuff I, ha I have um, coming up, you know, to be seen. People have pointed to that one picture and, and, and said, yeah, I saw that picture and, and, and it, it inspired me to, to, to start my own collection. And that's cool because, you know, the more collectors we have, the more, the more of a com community we have and, and the more that we, we can all share and Maybe someone will find that murders in the room or one sheet that I'm looking for in contact. <laughs>